so i welcome you to this uh, lecture on uh, construction planning and uh, scheduling the subject code is uh, c18603 so myself vijay vignesh assistant professor department of civil engineering sri venkateshwara college of engineering so today uh, we are going to see the topic crashing and time cost relationship uh, in unit 2 scheduling procedures and techniques so the prerequisite uh, required for this uh, topic is uh, network analysis that is you should have a basic knowledge on uh, how to draw the network diagram and you should know the difference between uh, activity and time activity and uh, uh, event and uh, one more thing is cpm and pert you should know the difference in what is basic concepts involved in uh, critical path method and how to find the critical path method and all those things so before getting into this topic we are going i mean uh, we should know why we do this okay why we do why we need to study this uh, crashing and all those time cost relationship so when i uh, consider i mean when i consider a construction project uh, uh, you will have when you take a construction project you will have a numerous activities uh, activities involving the uh, activities involved in substructure or superstructure uh, like example excavation pcc sand filling um, uh, column footing uh, column beam concreting and etc so it will you will have numerous activities starting from start of the project till the end that is finishing a project so when you have such numerous activities involved in the project it will take some I mean, huge amount of resources okay so obviously each activity will consume some amount of resources in your project so when i say resources it, it may be machinery manpower or materials okay so when i say man materials it means uh, cement steel uh, aggregate etc and the manpower is nothing but the humans i mean people involved in the project uh, labors okay and uh, machineries like example uh, excavators uh, vibrators etc so you will have huge number of resources involved in the project as a project manager your ultimate objective is to uh, make sure the project complete on a given time okay so consider a project like residential building you need to construct it uh, within a uh, project duration uh, let me say 3 years so your ultimate aim is to complete the project in 3 years if the project gets delayed that is uh, i mean uh, it's going beyond 3 years and the each and every day you spend on the project uh, it is like extra cost you spend on the project okay so whenever the duration of the project increases the cost is going to get increase i mean correspondingly and uh, as a project manager so your, your ultimate aim is to uh, make sure that you, you are not uh, delaying your project that is the project is not going to get delayed if at all is going to get a delay and the project i mean the cost is also going to get delay okay so in a project you may arrive a situation where you should you should be able to uh, cut down the total uh, project time when i say cut down the project time it means that you need to make sure each and every activities are going to uh, 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 go as per the schedule okay as per the schedule uh, you have uh, planned okay so this uh, suppose if your project is going to complete on early date okay you are going to uh, your uh, plan to complete the project in a earlier uh, day uh, uh, like uh, for example you are going to complete the project in 3 years but initially you planned for 3 years and now you are going to uh, plan it for 2 years it means that you are going to uh, deploy more amount of resources to make sure the project is completing on earlier okay so it means that you are going to spend more resources which will again increases the total cost to be incurred in the project total cost of the project so here uh, the balance has to be uh, uh, make sure that whether it is possible to complete the project with a minimum due cost or optimum duration okay so whenever i uh, increase the project the cost is going to increase and whenever i am going to increase I mean, whenever I'm going to deploy more amount of resources, the cost is also going to get increased. So both the scenarios say that the cost is going to increase. But as a project manager, you need to make sure that what is the optimum cost uh, that uh, that the the project will take or activity will take. Okay. So we need to find those those balance. Okay. That is why I'm saying that balance is to be maintained. But whether it is possible to complete the project with minimum cost and corresponding optimum duration. so in cpm the type is related to uh, cost and object is to develop i mean our objective is to develop the optimum cost time relationship many times it becomes necessary to complete the project earlier than the normal time 
uh, in such situation the cost of expediting the operation or activities has to be considered the cpm that is critical part method make use of this cost estimate along with the time estimate and provides a schedule for completing the activities at the minimum total cost the ultimate object objective of the network analysis is not only to bring the improvements in planning scheduling and control of project but also to assess the possibility of arriving at a feasible and desirable time cost relationship the policy of every organization that is every company is to reduce the target time so that the project saved may be uh, utilized for additional uh, production later okay the overall project duration can be reduced by reducing the duration of only the critical activities in the project network so here uh, when i say crashing i'm going to crash only the critical activities okay so okay so the duration of such activities may be reduced in two ways okay one way is to deploy more amount of resources like i said earlier uh, and another way is to uh, relax the technical specification of such activities that is i'm going to uh, compromise on some quality or uh, and technology involved in the project for such uh, critical activities so the second choice uh, i mean most probably i won't uh, we won't be doing the second uh, uh, method that is the second uh, choice like relaxing the technical uh, specification of such activities because uh, we will be uh, compromising on quality okay so for a given project there may be a certain range of time during which the project may be completed depending upon the resource employed on various critical operation and decision has to be on on which uh, on this will be depending upon whether the commitment of additional resources and expenses is worthwhile or not the optimum duration will be the one which gives the most economical cost for completing the project okay so the next uh, slide is all about uh, all about project crashing okay so solution for this is uh, like when i say uh, for to find the optimum duration or to find the optimum cost uh, the solution for finding those things okay uh, the solution is uh, project crashing okay so crashing uh, before that I, i like to say like project duration can be reduced by assigning more amount of resources to project activities but doing this will also increase the total cost okay which i said earlier in the slide so how do we going to stack stack a balance uh, the question is i mean the answer is the project crashing that is it is a method uh, for shortening the project duration by reducing one or more critical activities to a time less than the normal project time okay so when i say crashing it means that i'm going to shorten the project duration okay i'm going to shorten the project duration uh, when i say project duration initially you planned it for 3 years and now after crashing it may be like 2 and a half years or 2 years or seven months something like that okay so i'm going to shorten the total duration so that the uh, project can be completed earlier uh, like we can save a huge amount of cost and time okay so that is our whole objective here so when i say uh, crashing before uh, getting into this crashing part i'm going to explain about uh, project cost and the different types of cost involved in the project that is direct and indirect cost so for any project uh, relationship between the total cost and the overall duration is shown here as in the figure uh, it is clear clearly uh, uh, shown in the figure that uh, if a project goes beyond indefinitely uh, let me tell you like this if it goes beyond the indefinitely for example the project starting uh, in the month of january that is january and it is going like february march april may december again it is going january february march and it's going beyond the project duration okay indefinitely what will happen the project will obviously increase i mean project cost is obviously increase so when i increase the project and goes beyond Uh, indefinitely okay the project cost is going to get increased okay there is no doubt about that okay the second thing is similarly the cost will increase if the project is expedited okay if, if i complete the project at very soon that is uh, when i start in the month of january i'm completing in the month of may okay when i'm completing a month of may so what will happen i'm completing here uh, okay so when i want to complete the project earlier very very early i will be deploying more amount of resources okay when i said when i said earlier uh, like i said earlier 
so by uh, deploying more amount of resources again it will, it will it will have a it will consume a huge amount of resources that is cost so it will consume more amount of cost uh, from this diagram it is clearly shown if you if you want to complete the project earlier uh, then it will it will have a huge amount of cost so the cost curve is given here okay it is present here the cost increases if the project is crashed or time cost curve is given here okay this point is the point where the the bin uh, the project is completing earlier than that optimum time okay so the third one is the cost is very minimum at some optimum project duration so when i see the project cost duration curve at one point you will have a curve i mean reaching the minimum cost and the point at which it reaches the minimum cost is a point uh, uh, optimum duration okay point at which you will have a optimum duration the points like this so this is the optimum duration and the horizontal line is called i mean the plot is called minimum cost okay so this is the project cost duration curve so the cost is usually cost is considered to be the common parameter of the resources uh, resources expenditure of, of on a project in other words in other words we can say the application and the use of money materials uh, machineries uh, and uh, machines and the time for the performance of various activities all are related to the common measure of cost without cost we cannot buy all those things okay so the total uh, project cost is a sum of uh, the direct and indirect cost okay so in the direct cost is like uh, the cost which uh, which is required to accomplish all the work okay involved in the project indirect cost is uh, related to control and duration of the work and financial overhead and lost uh, production and uh, overhead cost etc okay so indirect cost we have outage loss and overhead so these are the components of project cost so now you can see what is direct and indirect cost and basic differences in uh, both these things so direct cost is like um, the direct cost are the expenditures which are directly chargeable to and can be identified specifically with the activities of the project uh, these include the labor material and equipment cost etc so you will have a project whenever you have a project you will have uh, uh, machineries materials manpower which will have a uh, which will form a major part of the expenses in a project so cost that is incurred on manpower who is engaged in converting these resources into an asset so all those things uh, together put it into a aid that is called direct cost okay and um, indirect cost is like uh, indirect cost on a project are those expenditures which cannot be uh, clearly allocated to individual activities on a of a project but it can be assessed as a whole okay as a whole we can say this is an indirect cost or this is i mean an indirect cost like that we can say we cannot go and allocate an indirect cost to each and every activity okay it, it's going to be assessed as a whole okay as a whole of i mean percent in terms of percentage or the lump sum okay so example we can say overhead cost at administrative expenses depreciation loss of revenue penalties all those things comes under the indirect cost category okay so these are the direct cost and indirect cost curve and uh, this curve is uh, yeah this curve is a direct cost curve so when you see uh, this curve uh, it is a non linear curve okay but i am going to find the slope of this uh, curve okay so for the calculation purposes i am going to uh, take i'm going to take this curve and uh, uh, approximate it to straight line like this straight line so when i do this approximation and find the slope of this uh, uh, of this curve uh, i will find out that the cost slope for a given curve okay so you think that formula will be uh, finding the, i mean you will be using in the project crashing uh, project crashing and uh, for this uh, i will go to the next slide that is and one more thing uh, this is the total indirect cost and uh, we'll put together total i mean uh, total overhead and outage loss in, in the project and together it sum up the total indirect cost curve okay so the, for this that is direct cost curve that is this part so we are going to approximate this curve into straight line okay this curve into straight line and when we are going to find out the slope of this uh, triangle so when i find the triangle i mean slope of this triangle and i am going to take this point as crash cost 
that is crash cost cc and this point is called as uh, normal cost that is cn okay the corresponding duration is called crash duration and normal duration so i'll quickly say what is the normal time and crash cost and normal uh, cost everything okay so normal time is the standard time that an estimator would usually allow for an activity okay but the crash time that is crash time this one okay uh, crash time is the uh, minimum possible time in which activity can be completed by employing extra resources okay extra resources and is it is the time beyond which an activity cannot be shortened by any amount of uh, increase in resources so these two things are defined and uh, normal cost is the uh, direct cost required to complete the activity in normal duration time sorry normal time duration and the uh, so the crash cost uh, is the total direct cost corresponding to corresponding to the completion of an activity within the crash time okay so now you know what is crash cost crash time uh, crash uh, duration and normal duration everything okay so the uh, when you draw the slope and i'm going to i mean after finding out the uh, cost flow for this direct cost curve and uh, you will get a formula like this crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time so when i put it in, put into a uh, formula uh, cc minus nc uh, divided by tn minus tc which is equal to delta c divided by delta t so this formula can be used in a project crashing uh, and uh, later this slide i will explain you uh, in detail okay so i'm going to uh, take a problem that is uh, uh, i'm going to simplify i'm going to explain using this problem that is uh, a problem is given here that is a table gives the data about the duration and the cost in the various activities of the network shown in the figure and uh, they are given that activity and the corresponding duration crash cost normal cost and crash duration everything in the table and the project overhead cost are 2000 rupees per week and they are asking us to find out the optimum duration and cost associated with it also to draw the least cost network so we need to f draw that network diagram okay network uh, uh, cost duration curve okay so they are given that diagram that is network yeah so network diagram is given here in the question okay uh, so one two three four and we'll have a project network like this so the solution part uh, i'll explain step by step okay the step one is to draw the time scaled version of the network so in order to draw the time scale version of the network you should know uh, you should know uh, to find out find the critical part for a given project network so critical part means for example there is a network like this okay so you need to consider what are the various part uh, that project can be completed so part means uh, it is a starting point that is starting point and this is the ending point okay so start from here what is the possible way to complete the project that is 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 that is one part okay 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and second part is 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 okay so what are the various parts involved here that is 1 2 3 4 is the one part and 1 2 and 4 that is second one okay second part out of both these part okay what is the longest part you need to find the longest part how do you find the longest part that is you need to add the uh, duration okay for each and every activity this one two is you will have a normal duration four days and two three you will have five days and three four you will have four days so four plus five plus four nothing but 13 okay so this one is 13 okay and one two four let me take this one two four that is four plus seven that is 11 days 11 days which one is maximum uh, maximum value is 13 that is 1 2 3 4 so the critical part that is the longest part is 1 2 3 4 so now you know what is critical part okay 1 2 3 4 is the critical part this longest part yeah. so i'm going to draw the time scale version so I mean, in order to draw the time scale version you will have a critical part you have to find out the critical part and you find out the t and tl 
So this is the original network uh, which is given the question. I am going to draw the time scale version. Uh, often the time scale network, I mean, uh, in order, I mean, if you want to draw the time scale version, you need to first uh, draw the critical activity in a horizontal line. Okay, critical activity means one, two, three, four is the critical activity here. So I am going to draw the one, two, three, four activity in a straight line. Okay, horizontal line. That is one to two, two to three, and three to four. That is my critical path so i'm going to draw it in horizontal line so what is a non critical path that is 2 to 4 is the only activity that is non critical okay so i'm going to connect that 2 and 4 like this like this okay so why i'm putting the dotted line here it is because the logic is uh, 2 to 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 is consumes 9 days but the actual 2 to 4 is only consuming 7 days so 2 days we have extra uh, duration that is float okay for that particular activity so i'm putting it at in, in dotted line okay it means that there is an extra time duration which you, which you can crash okay that is a, a logic behind that so this is the uh, method to uh, draw the time scale network or time scale version of the network okay i hope you understand this okay so step two is to find the cost flow for the network diagram so they are given that activities 1 2 to 2 uh, 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 2 to 4 and you need to find the delta t and delta c uh, which i already told you delta c is nothing but uh, your uh, project um, crash cost minus the normal cost so the crash cost is given like 12000 and the normal cost is 4000 when i subtract both these things that is you will get 8000 so that is your delta c for 1 and 2 activity. Similarly, you can find out for the rest of the activities that is for uh, 2, 3, and 2, 4, and 3, 4. So, you will get a value like 4,500, 2,400, and uh, uh, 5,000. Okay. So, delta T that is in order to find the delta T is nothing but a, no, a, a normal duration minus crash duration, and uh, 4 minus 2 and 5 minus 2, nothing but normal duration is 4 and crash duration is 2. So you will have a delta t like 2, 3 and 2 and 2 okay? and uh, cost slope. Uh, so cost slope is nothing but the ratio of delta c by, by delta t. Okay? So 8000 divided by 2 you will get 4000 per week. Okay, 4000 per week. Similarly for 4500 divided by 3, 4500. Similarly for 2400 divided by 2 you will get this value and similarly for this 3 and 4 you will get this value. So this is the way to, to find the cost slope for uh, each and every activities. So in step 3 is to find the uh, direct cost for normal duration. Okay. So the normal duration of the project is a sum of normal durations of each activity on the critical path. Okay. Note, I mean, uh, the special uh, mention is you need to make sure uh, the normal uh, co direct cost is, is not the sum of normal duration of all the activities. You need to make sure of this. Okay. So often uh, you might make a mistake like uh, summing all, I mean, adding all the uh, normal duration of all the activities. It is not like that. Okay. You should not sum the normal duration of all the activities. You have to sum only the critical activities. Okay. Uh, I mean, activity in the critical path. Okay. So here the critical path is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the normal duration of the project is nothing but the corresponding duration. Okay. 4 plus 5 plus 4 which is equal to 13 weeks okay that is your normal duration so that direct cost of the project will be the will be equal to sum of the normal cost of all the activities okay so normal cost is nothing but the direct cost okay so just now we have uh, find out the normal cost okay that is 4000 3000 3600 and 5000 okay So normal cost is given in the table itself. Uh, you, when you take a table, I mean in the question, the, the third column that is normal cost. That column is you sum up all the uh, cost that is 4000 plus 3000 plus 3600 and 5000. You will get 15600. Okay. So fourth stage crashing. That is step four is sorry. Uh, step four is first stage crashing. So uh, while crashing the activities, we need to select. The activity which has a minimum cost slope. Okay, uh, whenever you try to crash an activity, 
you need to find the activity which has a minimum cost slope okay for this problem the minimum cost slope out of all the four activities is 2 and 3 okay the critical activity 2 and 3 is the uh, is having the minimum cost slope of rupees 1500 per week okay so why i'm choosing this activity because when i compare this with other activity this is the this is the activity which has minimum cost slope okay you need to underline this part minimum cost slope okay so in in scratching this activity by two weeks okay the new uh, new duration of this project becomes like 13 minus 2 is equal to 11 weeks okay initially we have we have told like 13 weeks is the normal duration okay now the duration of it becomes 11 weeks so the extra cost of the crashing activity uh, 2 3 is by week two, by 2 weeks is 2 into 1500 because the cost slope is 1500 per week and we are going to crash it for 2 weeks uh, it means that 2 into 1500 which is equal to 3000 now the direct cost of 11 weeks duration becomes like previously total cost which we added that is 15600 plus the extra cost of crashing I mean extra cost of the crashing which we found out in the uh, previous step that is 3000 when you add both these things uh, you will have a direct cost of 11 weeks project duration that is 18600 okay so yeah so uh, after finding out the uh, total uh, cost uh, you will have to draw the uh, you have to uh, update the diagram that is time scale network so when you update the diagram now the di project duration becomes like this that is your two and three activity becomes uh, from five to three okay initially it is like five bracket two that is normal duration and crash duration now the du uh, now the duration becomes three two okay three and two because you have crashed for two two weeks okay now the duration becomes three okay so you have to update each and every time okay once you are crashing uh, whenever you are crashing after that you are going to update your diagram okay so the step 5 is second stage crashing similarly you follow the same step which i told earlier now we are going to find out which uh, broad i mean which activity you are going to crash whether i am going to crash 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 or 3 and 4 okay so in second stage of crashing we are going to crash 2 and 3 uh, for one week when i crash 2 and 3 that is 2 and 3 one week because there is a possibility right uh, beyond i mean we cannot crash it more than two okay that is, that is a limit given here because the crash duration is two weeks normal duration is three we will have a difference like one week here okay we can crash up to one week only but if i crash for one week uh, the logic going to get uh, different for example if i have crashing for one week it becomes two comma sorry two bracket two okay so the normal duration for 2, 3 and 3, 4 becomes 2 plus 4, 6 days, sorry, 6 weeks. But 2 and 4 will have 7 weeks here, okay. So it will have logically incorrect. So what we need to do is, we need to crash this, this particular critical activity for 1 week. And simultaneously, we need to crash the 2 and 4 activity, that is 7, that is this activity by 1 week also, okay. So whenever you are crashing this activity, we make sure that logic is... Uh, correct okay uh, more often you try to miss out this uh, non critical activity if you miss out this activity then project i mean uh, crashing becomes uh, wrong okay so so i'm going to crash two and three activity for one week simultaneously two and four by one week okay so the extra cost of crashing that is two three and two four become by is equal to 1500 plus 1200 which is equal to 2700 <coughs> okay so 2700 the new direct cost of the project for 10 weeks duration that is we are going to crash it for one week okay so 18600 plus 2700 which is equal to 21300 okay uh, and the new duration of the project is 11 minus 1 that is 10 weeks so now now the total duration becomes 10 okay so so we are going to crash each and every, each and every stage and the duration is going to get reduced and the cost is going to get increased so that is what we are going to do okay that is what we are doing so the step six so the duration i mean the uh, time scale network becomes like this so we are going to we have crash it for uh, one week that is seven becomes six and uh, five becomes four okay so step six is third third stage crashing and here we are going to crash two and four 
and uh, three and four. So when I crash the three and four by one week, I'm going to I should crash the two and four also. Okay, that becomes a logic I mean logically incorrect. So that is the reason I'm going to crash the two and four also. Okay, so whenever you crash a critical activity, if there is another non-critical activity, you need to make sure the duration uh, is same. Okay, for example, two plus four is equal to six and two plus four I mean two and four activity I have six days. So both are same. Okay, when I crash three and four by one week, that it becomes three and two, but three plus two becomes five, and this year we have six. Okay, so logically incorrect. So I'm going to crash this two and four by one week also. Okay, so that is why I'm crashing three and four and two and four jointly by one week. So the combined cost slope will become like two thousand five hundred plus thousand two hundred, which is equal to three thousand seven hundred. The total cost of the crashing now becomes uh, three thousand seven hundred into one, also equal to uh, three thousand seven hundred, and the total uh, direct cost for nine weeks duration uh, is twenty one thousand three hundred, which is the previous total cost plus extra cost is uh, three thousand seven hundred, which is equal to uh, thirty three thousand. Am I right? Thirty three? Is it? Sorry, twenty five thousand. Sorry, twenty five thousand. And the new duration of the cost. Uh, new duration of the project is 10 minus 1, 9 weeks. So the, the time scale version again updated into like this, and it becomes 5 five, five. And uh, the the one one thing you need to see is you can see two and three you cannot crash further, okay? But three and four you can crash. But the problem is when you crash three and four, it becomes two plus two that is four. But you cannot crash the two and four because two and four you you cannot crash further, okay? Because that uh, limit is five, and you can you are already have a normal duration up to I mean uh, five. So the five five there is no uh, extra duration in 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 the two and four, okay? So that is the reason we are not going to crash further uh, for two and two three and three four, okay? The the fourth stage of crashing that is step seven. Out of remaining critical activities that is one two and three four. Activity three and four cannot be further crashed to the fullest crash period since it it will have uh, affect I mean it will affect the activity two and four which is already been fully crashed. So like I said, it is already crashed fully. Okay, we cannot crash uh, again and again. Okay, because there is no uh, duration left to be crashed. Okay, so I'm going to uh, so hence I'm going to crash the activity one and two by two weeks because we have a Uh, duration up to I mean, limit of up to two weeks. Okay, so I'm going to crash the activity one and two by two weeks. Hence, the new duration of the project becomes nine minus two, which is equal to seven weeks. And the extra cost of the crashing uh, is two into four thousand, that is eight thousand. So twenty-five thousand plus eight thousand, which is equal to thirty-three thousand. So the total direct direct cost of seven weeks duration is thirty-three thousand. Okay. So that project. a uh, time scale network becomes like this finally the diagram comes to uh, like this uh, so we need to see whether we we have missed out i mean we have a, a opportunity to crash or not okay if there is no opportunity we need to stop here uh, stop the uh, crashing part and we need to uh, find the total cost okay so total cost of the project is uh, we have found out the direct cost of each and every duration each and every stage of crashing okay So in 13 weeks we'll have like this this cost, and 11 weeks we have found out 8600, and similarly for 10 weeks and 9 weeks and 7 weeks. So we have found out the direct cost, but indirect cost we need to find out uh, here. Okay, the indirect cost uh, is nothing but they are given in that question that is um, indirect cost of rupees 2000 per week as a project overhead cost 2000. Okay, so 2000 into the duration that is 13. So when you multiply that, you will get that twenty-six thousand. So that is what they are given. I mean, uh, they are plotted in the table. Okay, two thousand into thirteen, twenty-six thousand. Again, two thousand into eleven, um, uh, two thousand twenty-two thousand. Again, two thousand into ten, twenty thousand. So you have to do it for each and every duration. Okay. So now you find the total cost. Total cost is the sum of direct and indirect cost. Okay. Sum of direct and Indirect cost. When you sum up both these things, you will get in total cost like forty-one thousand six hundred, forty-one six hundred, forty-one thousand three hundred, and forty-three thousand so on. So when I found out the total cost of the project, 
now we need to see uh, what is that, which is the optimum cost and optimum duration for the given project diagram and before that we need to draw the network I mean, uh, cost duration curve okay when i so i will take a x axis as duration and y axis as cost so i am plotting the direct cost so this plot like this and uh, indirect cost like this sorry indirect cost like this straight line so when i combine both the things okay you will have a, a total cost curve like this like this and uh, the point at which it reaches the minimum value that is this point this is called as optimum cost okay so here in this table uh, when you confuse when, when you found the total cost in week 11 weeks okay in 11 weeks you will have a total cost of 40600 but in 10th week it is increasing to 41300 okay so in 13 weeks you will have 41600 again it is reducing and again it is increasing the point at which it is reducing right under the minimum cost that is your optimum cost and the corresponding duration is called as optimum project duration so in this problem the optimum project duration is 11 weeks and the corresponding optimum cost is 40600 so i hope you understand this problem and understand the concept why we do this project crashing so we need we are just crashing everything first we need we are first we are finding out that cpm that is critical path and we are going to find that cost slope and then we are going to crash each and every activity which has the least cost slope after finding out i mean after crashing all those activity we are going to find the total cost and from the total cost we can find the optimum cost and optimum duration okay so Thank you for listening.